If you work as HR in manufacturing, how can you provide the support your manufacturing leaders need? I'm Greg Schinkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and in today's Leader Feeder, I want to show you how you as the HR team can provide the kind of support your supervisors need to be successful. Right now, HR teams are really struggling with how to provide the support that their supervisors need. And building the trust between the supervisors and the HR department is crucial to being successful as an organization. One myth is that frontline supervisors often don't even think that they need training, and yet HR sees that need desperately. Most supervisors focus on the resources they think that they need that the company should provide in order for them to be successful. I was training a session with a bunch of supervisors down in Atlanta, Georgia, and one of the things they said is they just complained about the kinds of things that they didn't have, that if the company only provided this and this and this and this, life would be amazing. What they seemed to be ignorant of, or at least oblivious to, was that their actions as a supervisor had more to do with whether their employees were going to be happy and productive and engaged than whether they had these gadgets that they wished that the company had provided. So what do we do with that disconnect and how can HR really close that gap so that leaders recognize what they need in order to be successful? Well, I have a few tips for HR leaders to be more supportive with their manufacturing leaders. Tip number one is to listen to and observe your leaders in action. When you as an HR team actually watch your supervisors interact with the people on their crews or their teams, you're going to notice what kinds of interactions they do well and which ones cause them the most grief and frustration. That helps you build a priority list of the things that you could do to build their effectiveness. Tip number two is to link their frustrations to the approach that they're taking. So for example, like most of us, many supervisors don't realize that they're doing the very things that are causing them grief in their interactions with their team. So you as HR can draw this link between their typical frustrations and the leadership approach that they're taking. And finally, tip number three is show how your solution will reduce their frustrations. Again, training that you provide can help the supervisors reduce their frustrations. If you draw that direct connection, your supervisor will be looking forward to that training that you provide. And all of that will help you become more supportive as an HR team and gain the trust of your manufacturing leaders. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to reach out to us because we are the number one resource for training supervisors in a manufacturing and operations environment. And that starts with a conversation on our website at uniquedevelopment.com or connect with us on one of the many social media channels that we're active in. No matter how you reach out and start that conversation, we look forward to being your partners in leadership excellence.